first off with confidence, and I know it's not up there, preparation. All right. A lot of people think that the more confident you are, then you're going to, it's going to lead to more positive outcomes. And you're right, but what leads to confidence? Feeling prepared. Feeling prepared. So if you have any questions about your confidence, look to how often are you preparing? So taking that into the rehabilitation example, that running example, uh, does the individual, does the patient come in mentally prepared to do whatever it is that they're gonna be asked to do. Now, as a healthcare practitioner, you can provide what's that itinerary, what's the list of exercises that's gonna be completed that particular way, so they can prepare themselves for that, and as a result, feel more confident. By setting goals, you're better able to track progress. I always say, and as do many other psychologists and individuals that are in the personal development arena, is to set SMART goals. SMART being an acronym for specific, measurable, adjustable, realistic, and time-based. Uh, sometimes with the A, people throw in attainable. I think attainable and realistic is kind of the same piece, so I like to say adjustable goals, meaning that if you're on your way towards something and all right, progress doesn't go as smoothly as you thought it was going to be. If your goal is so set in stone with no adjustment, that can actually be uh, a bit distressing for people. Whereas if you have a little bit of wiggle room that you can adjust, that's a little bit better from a goal setting type of perspective.